My name is Bob Rabine, and I am char in charge of swinging the pendulum and counting how many swings we have. Hi, my name is Christy Gordon, and I'm in charge of collecting all of the data that you'll see in this experiment. Different now, every step is like a mile. Of timing the experiment and also doing that. So, how's it gonna be? The purpose of today's experiment is to record the correlation between the length of the pendulum swing and the period of time. I don't know which way. This is the, the shorter this the string, the greater number of swings. experiment you're first going to need a washer or a weight of some sort and a long piece of string. Tie your weight onto the end of the string. You're going to want to take a meter stick and measure 20 center, 20 centimeter intervals throughout it. I marked mine with a marker. It may be hard to show. It may be hard to see right here. Here's 40. Move down the line we have 60. Uh, you want to grab it first at the 20 centimeter mark. Hold it perpendicular. Have your stopwatch ready and let it go. You want to count how many swings it swings in one minute, in one minute's time. You do that over and over again for your 40, 60 centimeter, 80 centimeter, and one meter length. I don't know which way to turn. Every trifle. Experiment, we found that the number of swings decreases as we increase the length of the string on the pendulum. What you wanted then? Ha, ha, ha.